All right, today's uh, topic is uh, Unistruts. What's the best way to build a Unistrut? Uh, all right, so for example, this Unistrut, you know, was built by a manufacturer. And uh, as you can see here, it's basically, uh, in this case, it's a generic model. If I was to create it again, it's just a vertical. You can't do anything with it, it's just a vertical piece going up and down. Uh, and I don't know how many places I can actually use a vertical up and down Unistrut. So to me, it's kind of useless. Uh, the way I like to build them is I uh, actually create a line base family. And let's say, for example, here, I'm just going to take this line base family. As you can see here, I can, on the wall here, I can just, you know, put it on the, on the wall. I can put it on the surface down here. <clears throat> let's say I want to put it on this post here. I can, I got this post, or I got the unit strut to wherever you put it on medium, it just gives you a, you know, a, a square rectangle, basically. And then from here, I can, you know, uh, Make sure that I set, make a plane. Of course, I could have done that one without that, but uh, then now I can, when I'm placing the Unistrut, I can place it right on there. All right, <clears throat> to me, that's the best way of doing it. Now, from there, uh, a line base family, there's two ways of doing it. As you can see here, I've got the, uh, the holes put in the Unistrut. Uh, for if you want to do LOD 500, for example. Like I said, now there's two ways of doing it. There's one way, which is an array, and the other way, which is you put the holes in it, and I'll get into it in a second. I'll just tell you the, show you the difference here. So what I'm going to show you is that uh, here, uh, this family here is using an array. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a similar. And this is a big project, and this is the reason I did this is because it's a big project. As you can see here, it's delay, delay. You know, it's trying to catch up before I can hit the point. So by doing an array, it's, like I said, it's it makes the RFA, especially on big projects, really slow. Or you can do with this other method, which is the one I prefer. As soon as I pick a point, pick a point, it's, it's there. Now, the way I did this is that uh, instead of doing an array, okay, I already have the holes in there. Okay, And what I do is I create a void. I have a 20-foot piece of Unistrut. And what I do is I create a void, and I void out the length I don't want. Okay, So when I'm drawing it, uh, I'm still using, you know, the reference, you know, plane. And what I'll do is I'll just snap the void to the reference plane. And basically, so now when I'm drawing it, what it does is it takes the void and cuts the end of the Unistrut. So therefore, it allows the Unistrut to be more efficient when, oops, I got this. It's more efficient, you know, when, when you're placing it. Like I said, you know, erase, not good. You know, it takes too long. I mean, look how long I took that. Versus, you know, especially too, if you want to like edit it too, I could just quickly just move it, you know, boom, boom. Here, you know, I like, it's taking forever here. So, like I said, I like to use line based family and not use the, you know, the arrays because it slows it down. I mean, it's, you get the same result, you know. I wouldn't, don't know why you wouldn't go through all that pain of, you know, having the you know, Revit calculate where all the holes are instead of just voiding out the back end of it. So, that's my basically tip of the day. Thanks. Till next time.